Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives uh, still on Meccano Techniques and for uh, working on belt drives for the question paper which was written in Feb 2022, uh, that is February 2022. So we are given in this case uh, question number four, where we've got a belt drive transmits 1,700 watts from a pulley, which is 700 millimeters in diameter, rotating at 300 revs per minute. The ratio of the tight side tension and the slack, uh, okay, this is the tight side and the slack side belt tension is three S to one. And the maximum allowable tension in the belt is 1,5 Newton per millimeter. Take note, we are given as per millimeter, which means per given width. So find the suitable uh, belt width in this case. Okay, so take note from the 1,5 Newton per millimeter in this case, the width, can be taken to say it's going to be T1 over 1,5. All right, so this is going to be, this is 1,5 Newton, all right. So if we are to find, if we are to simplify this, we are going to have the belt width, all right. So how can we find T1? Because from this information, we can see that we do not have T1, all right. But we are given the power, let's list the information. We are given the power of the belt, which is 1,700 watts. So we've got 1,700 watts. Uh, then the diameter, which is 700 millimeters. So we've got the diameter in this case, which is 700 millimeters. If you are to convert this to meters, a milli, you have to divide by 1,000. So that will be 0, 0,7 meters. And also we are given the rotation, in revs per minute, that is 300 revs per minute. All right. So, and also the ratio between the tight side and the slack side, we know that this is T1 over T2. So that's T1 over T2 is equal to 3 S to 1, which is 3 over 1. Okay. So uh, using this information, in order for us to find T1, we can play around with the information that we have for now that we, that we are given. We have got the power in this case that we have, all right? And we know that this power uh, can be taken from this formula. Let's just see how what we can do here to find this T1. We know that power is the equivalent of the total, which is the effective tension times the velocity. We do not have the velocity. We do not have the total tension, but we know that this total tension is equivalent to T1 minus T2, all right? So that is T1 times T2 times the velocity. So that means we can calculate velocity from this information. We know that velocity is equivalent to pi dn over 60, okay? So that's pi dn over 60, which is the diameter and the revs per minute. So V it can be calculated, all right? So V can be pi times the diameter, which is 0, 0,7. So that's 0, 0,7 times n in a revs per minute, which is 300. So that's 300 over 60 in this case. So you can have our V in meters per second. Okay, so if you are to simplify properly, you are going to obtain 10,996 meters per second. All right, so we have the velocity here. All right, now we can, or how can we calculate T1, or to simplify, to find T1, because we have this power, okay? So we have power, we have V, so we can write from this ratio. Let us let us try to play with this, this ratio so that we can write T2 in terms of T1. That means if we can write T2 in terms of T1, we can calculate T1, or we can write T1 in terms of T2. We calculate T2, then we calculate T1. That one is a matter of playing around with your formula. Okay, so it's easier if we cross multiply, all right? That's one times T1, which is going to be T1 is equal to three times uh, T2 times three, that's three T2. So which means T1 is equivalent to three T2, all right? So we can substitute this information that we have now here being 1,700. So 1,700 watts is equivalent to T1 in terms of T, which in terms of T2, which is 3T2 minus T2 like this, times the velocity which we got here, which is 
0.0996. All right. So that means we can calculate T2, which is going to give us T1 from this equation. All right. So let's simplify. This is same as 1 here. So if you subtract, it's going to be 1,700, which is equal to 3 minus 1, which is 2 T2 times 10,996. Okay. Take note that here, guys, you are multiplying 2 times 10. So you can combine these two, or you can simply divide by 2 times 10,996 to find T2, 2 times 10,996. So this can cancel. You remain with T2. So T2 is going to be uh, 77,301 if you simplify this one. Uh, so remember, our purpose here is to calculate W, which we said we can calculate from T1, but we need to find T1, which we can calculate here from this formula that T1 is equivalent to 3T2. All right, so let's calculate T1 here. So we say T1 is equivalent to 3T2, which means T1 is going to be 3 times T2, which is our T2, that's 77,3,01. All right, so multiply properly. You are going to obtain 231,903 Newton. All right. By finding T1, it's now easier for us to find the width because remember, we said the width is one, it's T1 over 1,5 Newton from the given uh, ratio that we are given below uh, before. So that means we can say our width in this case is equivalent to T1 over 1,5 Newton, which is our T1, 231,903 over 1,5. So that was how easier the question was, guys. So don't panic at least you are looking at these questions in exams, guys. All right. So anyways, if you divide properly, you are going to obtain a width of 154,6. 602. Remember, uh, here we're dealing with uh, 1,5 Newton per, per millimeter. So our width is going to be in millimeters. Remember, this was per millimeter. Okay, so it's per millimeter width. Okay, so that's our width, which is uh, 154,602. So that these were the steps which were necessary, guys. So th that's how you answer these typical questions. Formulate uh, your formulas down, write your formulas down, insert the values that you are given. By doing so, you can see, okay, by finding this value, it's now easier to find another value. Do not just write the formula direct, then you expect an answer from that formula. No, write your formulas down. Then each and every formula must assist you to attempt the question. Okay, anyways, we shall see, uh, we shall have uh, other questions from different past exam papers. Uh, from this channel, Mason African Motives. So let's continue to share our videos to our friends and also to subscribe if you are new to this family uh, so that we can reach far as a family of Mason African Motives till we meet again.